love you too. Those are coming at you. Uh, pardon the squeaky chair behind you, uh, behind the camera right now, but I'm kind of ridden to a squeaky chair. Anyway, uh, I know I've been making a lot of videos lately. I'm kind of depressed. I can't go outside. Can't do what I want to do. Um, I can't go and you know just do things that I normally would do. So I'm, yeah, I'm sort of depressed. <laughs> anyway, uh, I was thinking about how to, you know thinking about doing a video today, and I thought. You know, well, I'm going to do a top ten car movie. top t My top ten car movies of all times. You know, hopefully this focuses here. So, uh, we'll start with number ten. Um, Corvette Summer. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about each movie as I do it. So, uh, i got to give it the, this. Corvette Summer it was probably one of the first car movies I've ever seen. I mean, it was... In its heyday, how can I put it? Uh, there was more fiberglass and big flake paint jobs that I've ever seen before in one movie. <laughs> but it's it's a good one. You have to check it out. I mean, it's a total, totally late seventies movie. Uh, check it out. Smokey and the Bandit. Uh, you can't go wrong. With a Trans Am. I'm sorry. Trans Am big trucks, man. They go together. So, yeah. Smokey and the Bandit, my number nine. American Graffiti. I wanted to rank this one higher, but I just couldn't find myself to come to it. And the reason being is there's only like one real drag racing scene in it. Uh, no real car chasing, nothing like that. But the cars in this movie are like... I mean, this is the pinnacle of having every dream, body's dream car stuffed into one movie. The um, actually the '55 Chevy that's in American Graffiti, the one that um, basically the bad guy who plays. Uh, he's in, that actual car is in my number one movie. So, if you know anything about that car, then you already know what my number one movie is. Uh, number seven, Bullet. Dodge Chargers and Mustangs. Can't go wrong with that one. Steve McQueen. Can't say I'm a big fan of Steve McQueen. I thought the acting was kind of... Eh. Lame. But being Steve McQueen, he's one of those serious, serious actors. Uh, you know, I just never really been a big fan of him, you know. Uh, Highwaymen. Not an old movie, per se. But I actually like it. If you check it out, you may like it too. It's got a um, oh man, it's got one of the one. It's got a very very rare car in it. Um, it is like a hopped up version of. A, I think it's like a. I think it's a Dodge Charger, one of the older ones, uh, made in like the sixties. But it's like a pro stock version of it. It was, it was like a... I don't know if you know what a Copo car is. Maybe some of y'all aren't car dudes, but... It was a factory drag racing car that that came out in the 60s. Every, all the car companies were doing it. And uh, that was uh, Mopar's way of uh, jumping on the factory uh, drag racing scene. And it, it's, it's kind of a rare one, too. So you have to check it out. It's like a pro cop car. Uh, if y'all know what pro cop means, I'm, I'm using a lot of car terminology here. So I, I'm a big I'm a big car fan. Always have been. I mean, I can talk for hours and hours about compression ratios. Uh, I mean, I don't even know where to even start, man. Lower ends, upper ends, heads, valves, uh, rocker arms, you name it. I mean, just I mean, it's so much. I, my knowledge of cars, I tell you what, I shouldn't even be making videos about prepping or things like that. I should be making videos. Sorry, I went. Uh, I'm going to get off of there. There we go. I'm going to get off of there. 
That's fine. Anyway, uh, I should be making videos about prepping and things like that. I should be making videos about how to fix your cars, how to get more horsepower out of out of your car, how to. I just, I'm just personally, I am just fed up with working on vehicles. So to the point now where I don't even work on my own. I take them to somebody else to work because I am just wore out on fixing cars. I wasn't just fixing my cars. I was fixing everybody's cars because, hey, once not you know a good car guy, you know, give him a call. He'll fix you up just fine. I wasn't making money at it. That was the deal. I was, I'm a nice, nice person. Way too nice to be fixing cars. And I was just wasn't making any money at doing this. So that's why I don't do it. Anyway, let's get back to the, um, uh, let's get back to the, uh, uh, anyway, Highwayman was the last one. Go with Vanishing Point. Uh, Dodge Challenger. Oh, God. Uh, what more to say? I mean, it is a hopped up Dodge Challenger. Uh, it was supercharged, you know? I mean, this car was leaving everybody in the dust. No, there wasn't a cop car on the road that could catch it. So, I mean, come on. If anybody knows Vanishing Point, if I was to have the CV right now, uh, uh, my code, my call, my call words, or my call handle would be uh, uh, Kowalski. It would have to be. Because that's the guy who drives the, the Vanishing Point car. And uh, I think that's in Kowalski. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there was a lot of people making... If you watch um, some other shows, other car movies, newer car movies, they talk about uh, the Vanishing Point driver uh, who... Um, I have to think of the name of that movie. It's one of the... One of the movies that came out of, uh, uh, God, what is that movie? My brain has gone blank again while I'm, while I'm shooting the video. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll try to think of it in a minute. All right, uh, number four, Dirty Mary, Crazy Larry. Uh, yeah, come on now. That, 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 that name speaks for itself. I mean... <laughs> if you've seen the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. Return to Macomb County. Not a very known movie. Uh, Don Johnson, when he was young, and Nick Nolte was in his movie. A 1957 drag car. These guys are trying to, they're trying to drive, I think, to Pomona, California to enter in the, uh, the big uh, drag race there that they have every year. And they wanted to um, basically win the trophy. I mean, they even have a little trophy set up in their trunk, you know. And the missing trophy is that Pomona, California trophy. So, watch the movie. Uh, it's hard to find it on 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 uh, DVD. I actually found it. And um, good music if you like the uh, uh, late fifties, early sixties kind of uh, music. It definitely definitely a good. Uh, uh, a good movie to watch there. All right, uh, number two, Gone in sixty seconds, the original made in nineteen seventy four. Not that new one with Nicolas Cage, buddy. Uh uh, give me the original one. Can't go wrong with the uh, nineteen seventy three uh, Mustang fastback. I'm telling you, I had one myself back in uh, two thousand, actually. I loved that car. Loved it to death. And my number one movie is Tulane Blacktop. Now, a little, little bit, uh, the main car in this movie is the same 1955 Chevrolet that was in American Graffiti. It just looks a little different. Um, good movie. The acting's not that great, but it's like, the number one top car guy movie. I mean, these guys are talking about stuff that the layman's person would not understand, like how wide the tires are in the back, uh, torque flight transmissions, um, compression ratios, 
cubic inches. You know, they're talking about stuff that real car guys would know. And that's the, re- that's the reason why I made Tulane Blacktop my my top ten of all time car movies. And, I mean, the, the acting is horrible. I mean, it, it's pretty bad. And there's a couple of faces in there um, that you'll probably... Uh, You'll probably recognize uh, one being the uh, drill sergeant from Stripes. <laughs> that dude's a big liar, man, in this movie. And uh, the drummer from the Beach Boys, uh, Brian, uh, uh, what is his name? Brian, I, I can't, Brian Wilson. Brian Wilson, the drummer from the Beach Boys, he plays the mechanic. And the the driver is the uh, oh man I can't think of his name right now he's a folk singer from the sixties and the seventies I I can't think of his name and I wish I would remember this stuff before I start making these videos uh, shit anyway if you watch the movie you'll probably know what I'm talking about if you're of age. If you're not of age, read the credits. That's all I can say. Um, I've been watching all these movies except for Highwaymen, which is relatively new. I think it was made in the mid-2000s somewhere. I think 2004, 2005, maybe even 2002. No, it had to be 2003, 2004. I believe is when the movie came out. But, uh, yeah, I've been watching all these movies. And this is like, uh, Return to Macon County is like my dad's favorite car movie. I mean, we even recorded it on VHS when it was, uh, VH1 was playing it on their, uh, rockumentary, uh, uh, countdowns. Uh, which, I don't know why, there's not really a lot of rock and roll in this movie. <laughs> There's no famous people that I know of that or did did music. I don't know, maybe Nick Nolte did or Don Johnson. I don't really know. Uh but anyway, if you you like these I would I would say, you know, if you're a car buff, two lane blacktop. If you're not a big car fan or don't know a lot about uh cars themselves like you know like uh, engine wise or technical wise American Graffiti, man, I, that's started me off. I mean, that won't be—I won't say it started me off in the cars, because the movie that started me off in the cars was uh, Days of Thunder. Oh my God! When that movie came out, I think I was—I was thirteen because that was a PG thirteen movie, and I remember my grandmother taking me down to the theater on my birthday and dropping me off at the theater saying, there you go. You know, and when I walked up to the, the counter to go, uh, to go get my, um, to go get my ticket, I don't know, I, for some odd reason, I just figured they would card me, you know. And But they never did. They didn't say anything. I just walked up to the counter and I said, I wanted one, uh, one ticket for uh, Days of Thunder and they let me in. And and I grabbed me a popcorn and a Coke and enjoyed that movie to the fullest. Ain't nothing like NASCAR on a big screen. Anyway, that was my review of Dozer's Top 10 Car Movies of All Time. Uh, it may change at some point in time, but I don't think it's going to change anytime soon. Don't get me wrong, people. I like the Fast and the Furious crap. It's good. It's just not real technical when it comes to cars. Yeah, they're taking these little these little cars and they're buzzing them. Yeah, they got some Dodge, uh, some some Mopar cars in there, like the Charger and the and the Superbird, and they have a couple of Mustangs in them. Yeah, okay, I got that, but it's just not technical enough for me. I like a, a good movie where people actually look like they're acting and talking about cars. And I know I'm rambling on here. This is almost a 15-minute long video. Uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Uh, it, or I'm sorry, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. If you like my videos, hit the like button down below. And uh, this is Dozer signing off. 
saying uh, see you next video.